How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is the Lenovo K3 Note and a lot of you have asked me how to root it specifically because you want to get rid of all that bloat where it's on it. That kind of is annoying and bogs down the device and that's what we're going to do today. So this is going to be how to root the Lenovo K3 Note. Let's go do this. Let's go ahead and root this Lenovo K3 Note. And the first thing you have to do to get root access on this device is to go ahead and go into settings, scroll to the bottom, and we want to turn this option right here, developer options. So uh, to do that, you go into about phone, you go to device information, you find your build number and you keep tapping on it until it says no need, you are already a developer right there in the bottom. Then we're going to go back a screen, back another screen. You'll have developer options. You'll click on it. And basically here it says USB debugging. You just want to make sure that box is checked just like it is right by my thumb there. And basically that's it to set up for this on the phone. Very simple process. And uh, we're going to shoot over to my computer and flash some stuff to this device to get root. So guys, from here, it's really important that we download some things to our computer. This is my site, rootjunkiesdl.com, and I should put everything you need on here. So basically what you're going to need is you're going to need this file right here. This is the Lenovo K3 Note Clockwork Mod Recovery, so download that. You're also going to need drivers, so if you go here to Lenovo, you should have these drivers, download those. If you don't have uh, Android SDK or your ADB and Fastboot files, click on this. Download these files right here. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is download SuperSU. So you're going to want to download this one right here. So that's basically all the files you're going to want. And make sure you download those all to your computer. And then we can work with them from there. So here's uh, my main folder. I keep all of my files for the Lenovo uh, K3 Note. And basically the SuperSU file, you're gonna just want to go ahead and send over to your device um, and put it on your SD card of your phone, okay? Um, or download it to your phone, either way. You just wanna have it on your phone. Um, here is the driver, so obviously you'd wanna run these and then go ahead and install the drivers. Next, 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 finish, it's very simple. This will get all your Lenovo drivers so your device will work correctly. I'm gonna just cancel it for right now because I've already done that step. Other than that, you have your recovery that once you extract, it should look like this. It should have this little recovery image. And then from there, your fast boot stuff, I'm gonna use the Android SDK, but if you download those fast boot files I just showed you, you're gonna be left with these three or four files right here and it just put them in a folder and we'll do things from that folder so this is my folder with android sdk but it'd be the same if you use the zip i have you download so i'm just going to go make sure i'm in the folder with those four files i'm going to hold shift on my computer right click with my mouse say open command window here and now i have a command window all right from here we need to go ahead and plug in our device so this is going to be a little bit funky because this is going to be upside down because your port is on the top. So I'm going to flip over my phone, go ahead and plug it in, and it should be plugged in. Now you may get a pop-up, so watch your phone telling you to allow ADB debugging. So just, just keep an eye on your phone to make sure if that comes up, you make sure you allow it. I think I've already approved mine, so it's not going to show on mine. Also. While this is going, you might have to have your drivers installed for a second. It does take a little bit. All right. So from here, if your drivers have all installed, mine should have, we're going to type in some commands. So we're going to type in ADB devices, hit enter, and if everything's functioning correctly, it should come back with a number, and it should say device, and that means your drivers are working right. You have your USB debugging turned on. Everything's ready to rock. From here, it's very simple. You're just going to type in ADB reboot boot loader. Boot loader is all one word. Hit enter. And you're going to see your device here go into, wait for it, bootloader mode. 
And I, this is really hard to see, but there's a tiny little thing down here that says fast boot. It's actually fast boot mode. Technically, bootloader fast boot mode, same thing. So it says fast boot right down there in the corner. And now we're going to make sure that your drivers have all installed in fast boot mode. So you're going to type in fast boot devices. And again, you should come back with a number. It looks like it's the same number. And it should say fast boot. If it does, you are rocking with fast boot. That's awesome. All right. From here, let's go ahead and let's actually open up this thing, which is where I have my recovery, that recovery image I downloaded for Clockwork Mod Recovery. And we're going to type in fast boot flash recovery space. And then we're just going to take that file right there. And the easiest way to do this is just to click on it, drag it into the window, and release. And then we're going to hit enter. So, enter. That's space. <laughs> enter. There we go. And it went ahead and flashed it over to the device. So, that's pretty much it. You can see there's a little bit of text here. It's upside down in the center, talking about it on the phone. And from here, we can go ahead and do fast boot um, reboot and hit enter and we're done on the computer that's pretty much all you got to do the device is going to reboot right now and let me show you how to manually boot into clockwork mod recovery anytime you want and then we'll flash super to get root access so as you can see the device here has booted up let's spin it around so we can see it again and go ahead and unlock it now um, so we want to get into clockwork mod recovery right so to do that we're going to go ahead and we're going to power off the device power off all right, and this is actually really pretty simple to do. Um, anytime your device is fully powered off, you're just going to flip it, and you're going to hold your volume up and down. Then you're going to hold power. Make sure volume up and down first, then power. And the reason that you can flash Clockwork Mod Recovery this way to your device is um, just really awesome. It's because you have an unlocked bootloader. This thing comes with an unlocked bootloader default. Here is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now. The first time you flash this, it's going to come up, and the first thing you're going to see up here is option for English, or it's like Chinese, I think. It looks like that down there at the bottom. And you're going to have to select it, so you would just scroll up or down with your volume up and down, and then you'd hit power to, to select your language. Um, so I really like that, that we have both languages supported in here, because I know a lot of times a lot of people who own this phone are um, foreign, so that's just really nice. Right here you can see it is set language to English. Um, so, from here, it's really simple if you want to get root access, you're just going to scroll down to install zip and then hit uh, power to select it. Say choose zip from SD card, I think is what you want. Let's try it. Then we're going to scroll down to, I think I put mine in downloads, select that. And then there it is right there. Update Super Sue. This is the file I had you download. Like I said, just make sure you put it on your, your, your internal storage or your SD card on your phone so that you can obviously flash it like I'm about to. So we're going to go ahead and select it with power. Slow down to say yes, install. And it's going to go ahead and install and give us uh, root access. So shabam, done. So from here, we're going to scroll to go back. We're going to scroll to Reboot Options, select that. Reboot System Now, select that. And that's pretty much it. Once this boots up, you will have root access on your Lenovo K3 Note. And that is basically the process. Well, now that I've rebooted out of recovery, Clockwork Mod Recovery that is, you can scroll over and you can see that I have Super Sue right there, which is what we flashed. And if you go into root checker right here, I've actually already tested it, but I'll go back to I'll toggle basic mode so we can do it again. Uh, verify root. And there it granted root permission. Congratulations, your device has root access. That is it. Pretty, pretty sweet, pretty simple, not too hard to do. I've got some other applications right here. This is one that's really nice, and uh, I really like it. So I can do this, and I can go reboot to recovery. This will reboot me right back into Clockwork Mod Recovery, and I can then flash other things, do Nandroid backups, and the works. So definitely digging this. Really, really nice. But, guys, that's uh, going to wrap it up for me um, on this. So I'm going to do reboot system now use power there we go and that's 
pretty much it. That's how to go ahead and route the Lenovo K3 Note um, and get custom recovery installed. So hope you like it. Uh, if you would like more videos on this device, please let me know. I'll try to do some more coverage. Otherwise, that's going to wrap it up for me. Please give me a big thumbs up. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. <laughs>